After trying for many years to access this abandoned cinema, we finally succeeded in summer 2019. It's the most complete structure of its kind we have seen, but it still stands today in a deteriorated condition. Join us as we enter the pitch black premises to discover what remains. A rich history comes from the building in question today. It dates back to the late 1920s when it opened as a theatre with capacity for more than 2,500 visitors. It changed owners multiple times in the years. During this span, a ballroom was built in the lower parts of the building. Eventually, this space became a nightclub which is still operational today under a different name. The rest of the cinema is out of use, suffering after so many years of neglect as we were about to find out. Immediately inside the front section of the property, visible signs of construction were noticeable, with each room resembling a shell. It looks like at one point they were scrapping this place uh, in terms of the ceiling wires and stuff. Uh, and there's so much more as well. What kind of rubble is there? It's such a really strict, isn't it? Yeah. Stuff started falling through from the roof. These old lights. Yeah. They're super old, though. There's so many of them as well. There's just like so much stuff left. Yeah. This is the entrance, isn't it? Yeah. You can actually see the light through the end of the door. There. Oh, yeah. If I turn it on. Yeah. I don't know if that's outside or if that's a, the working building that's connected. I think that's outside, some alleyway. Looks red, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really weird. Look at these old lockers. I can't tell if like the place is trashed from people being here or if it's just like decay. It's really yeah. weird. Or if it's um They've actually tried to do some work on the place. Yeah, they've got like... That's one of the original details that survived. Yeah. Oh, wow. There's a screen. This is, look at the seats. I know, they're old. I love the colour. What I'm not too interested in is the floor. Oh no. This was the smaller screen of two that the cinema had to offer. Nowadays a two-screened building of this nature would never open, and construction of a newer multi-screened cinema was actually the reason for this one's closure. After the new and more effective cinema opened to the public, the classic structure we are looking through began to lose admissions and inevitably closed in the early 1990s. Plans had even been made to convert the two screens into five, but these ideas never became reality. We quickly found out that the historic site was battling excessive vandalism too. One part of the building had been blackened by the ash of a fire. They've obviously, at some point with these wooden ceilings, they've obviously tried to um, sort it out almost and like protect it from falling down completely. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not sure when the fire was, but it looks like it's took out quite a lot of the building. Yeah, there's just loads of like crap everywhere. Check that out. Old record thing. Old, very yeah. old. Very old. Even a bit of film there as well. Mm. After closure, everything valuable was removed from the cinema in the likes of projectors, sound equipment, and screens. It is now owned by the operators of the nightclub below. 
It's definitely not untouched, is it? I'll say no. that. Oh, Using all the parts of the seats. That's the original ceiling there. The dome. I would like to see that, but I'm guessing it'll be very dusty in there. Yeah, I mean, it, I don't see how we get down to that. Well, that's an explorer, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. We need one of those, for sure. <laughs> Can't say I've heard of the brand. All the boxes, they've literally just come here, opened it, and left all the packages. Oh, this is it. This is what we came for. and rainwater affecting the seats. Oh yeah. That was obviously done a long time ago though. It was First place I've seen that done. Yeah. That's really weird. There's probably so much water holding weight above those parts. Yeah, that's true. They're all gonna collapse. With the desire to see this room for a long time, it was just as impressive as we had hoped. All the seats remained in decent condition considering the threat of water damage. The massive auditorium functioned right above the nightclub, therefore implemented into both workplaces were strict monitors that would detect the noise levels of each with an alarm. If you were watching a tense film you wouldn't want to hear the sounds of bass vibrating through your seat. Somewhere above the mouldy false ceiling lies the original architecture that has been lost to modernisation. It contains the dome we found earlier in the exploration, which was a pale blue. In the footage of the dome we captured you can make out the fading colours through the dusty air. Like really old design with the panel. Yeah, it's very ornate. And then they're like pretty comfortable as well, considering mm. it be a cinema. They're not even like trashed at all. No. They're just a little bit. Well, they're pretty much fine to be honest. Yeah. They've all got gold uh, railings as well. Yeah. It's a pity that the property is more than likely past saving. The position it has in the city it is located in means it can hardly be demolished anytime soon, so for now it will sit patiently awaiting its fate. And the more you look at it, you do, the more you realise there's so many seats. Yeah. Like way more than your standard cinema. Yeah, it's crazy. They're a lot smaller as well. Yeah. I think a standard cinema would just be the middle row. Mm. And then you've got these wider ones as well. It's so wide. Flat. We find our way onto the stage, which wasn't original. It was built using concrete during the 60s after the building was bought by a new owner. We reckon this is when the cinema transformation happened. I'll tell you what, all of the steps are better than modern cinemas. Yeah. I feel like there's actual thought gone into this place like back in the day. Yeah, yeah, like modern ones are just so like built for convenience and nothing else. Go. Cool. First time I've seen a projector. Yeah. Not the best one, is it? But nah, but it's still it's still there. It's still pretty big. Yeah. See the top it's been taken off, I think. It's all documents. What dates we got? Uh, 1990 here. Yeah. A lot of it's 65. It's like times and stuff. Yeah, 65. Wow. I don't know if that's a date. It could be. 19 February 1965. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's a random stuff. I've no yeah. idea what any of it is. 1980. Clearly 1980 that one. But it's in Italian, I think, yeah, Milan. Hmm. No idea. <laughs> Interesting, though. 
We could have spent hours looking through the paperwork that remained in the structure, but we had no time. After we concluded our exploration, we headed back outside. Only a couple days later, our access point was bricked up with cinder block, and the small amount of air and sunlight that had been creeping into the cinema for the last few days was denied. The building is once again silent, with nobody allowed in for years to come. Here are some of our shots from the ageing cinema. If you like the look of them, check out our Instagram page where you can find images of the places we visit months before we post them to YouTube. Also, we are organising some prints that will be sold soon, so be on the lookout for that. Next time. In one of our biggest explorations to date, we cover possibly the most complete mining colliery remaining in Europe. The integrating history, machinery and architecture was so interesting that we spent two full days on site, looking through everything we could. Thanks for watching our latest video. Welcome to 2022, where we have many exciting plans for videos, trips and other stuff. Hope you liked the video and see you next time.